Emperor Shi Huangdi had sent you on an important mission to spread Chinese culture and influence the southern lands of Annan. Advanced scouting reports the land is fertile and ideal for rice cultivation, and that wild pigs and dangerous tigers inhabit the thick forest. Lacquer trees grow sturdy and strong in the region, and their valuable raisin will make a profitable export. You might even be able to strike a good deal on raw, uncut jade from the natives, who call themselves Viet. The jade from this region is rich green, and once fashioned into intricate carvings, it will surely bring a healthy price on the streets of Xiangyang. If matters are progressing well after a year, the emperor has vowed to dispatch a generous shipment of weapons. While the natives do not seem overly aggressive, like wild animals, they should not be trusted. As royal administrator and envoy for the Chen Empire, you need to build a strong, vibrant city that clearly shows the locals the superiority of the Chinese way. The site of this ancient fishing village should be a nice place to start. It should. Hey guys, welcome back to Emperor. I'm moving to Xiang Jun. It doesn't actually say that here, but that is the mission's name. Land of Annam. So we're down in, I think it must be the current day Vietnam. Some rather hefty goals. Um, uh, population of 1800, 1000 people in ordinary apartment, but you 16 casks of lacquer in one year. That doesn't mean lacquer wear, it just means grow 16 casks in one year. Uh, produce 12 jade carvings, that's a bit of a tricky one. Let's head to the city, pause and have a look around. So, well, they weren't wrong when there was a lot of trees, but look how many trees there are here. I mean, there's a bit of rock here, but it's all kind of obscured by the amount of trees in this area. Um, Nice big bit of river, going right through. I don't think there's any reason to cross the river here. Um, there's some tigers that'll kill the place if you're not careful. Um, some city ruins here which I'm going to have to clear out because they're just going to get in the way of how I build the city. Um, that target population and um, house requirement could be met by a single block and there's no point building elite housing so I'm just going to go with a single common house block with as many houses in it as possible. Not providing deal with that access. I mean, who are our gods? Ziwamu. I mean, I could. I mean, I could try to summon Ziwamu just to bless the jade carvers because that is sort of a cheat's way of getting to that particular uh, jade carving studio. I didn't mention it, but uh, Ziwamu has the ability to bless jade carver studios fully. So, like three jade carver studios would be, uh, be blessed with four each, so you would get your twelve in a year. But that is, in my opinion, the cheat's way of doing it, not the proper way, so I'm probably not going to do that. Uh, so as you can see, we're down here as Jan Jun uh, in Anam. Uh, another kingdom's going to pop up sooner or later, so don't worry about it at the moment. Uh, Jian Yang is trading with us, and we can sell him lacquer and a couple of our things. They t sell us lacquerware, which we don't need to do. Uh, I'm going to try and get a profitable export of lacquerware up and running. We can't um, produce um, silk here, so obviously there's no reason to import silk. Um, only rice paddies we have to import our hemp again. Um, Xiang Yai sells us all the hemp we need and if we keep the city small we don't need to do anything much about that. Uh, so we've got fishing and rice paddies which will provide the, bl uh, the plain food. I'm not going to hunt, it's too erratic in this area and I think you've got to cross the river to get to it so I'm not going to do that. I know actually it looks as if there's a spawn point up here. Um, so I'm going to clear out obviously a lot of these trees and start growing some lacquerware maybe along this back bit here or something, I don't know, maybe just all over the place, I don't know, the rocks are kind of in an awkward place. Um, so I'll go and plan out the house here block and see how it turns out. Right, so here's my housing block, I've got everything planned out. I've just started destroying that um, old fishing village. Not too difficult to get the perfect feng shui really. Um, a lot of the rocks are kind of obscured by trees so you'll have to obviously start destroying trees. I've also put this administrative city down just so that I can put some tax collectors in just simply to collect a few taxes to see if that'll keep the city stable for a bit. And I'm just a good collector because I've just tons of trees so we need to worry about destroying some of them. Uh, so let's get the city going. Uh, let me just check if this is set to... Oh I've got a clue if it's set to always hold but... Never mind, so let's just delay that. And then put um two, three, one, two, three. I'll never one of those. Oh they come from over here, I see, okay, fine. Well if 
That doesn't make any sense because if you're... Oh, I don't know. I don't understand how they're coming from the south. That comes from the enemy area for some reason. Anyway, I've got a house to block down. I've put down all the stuff that I need up at the top here just to keep it away from having all the houses in because I, don't, I need as many houses as possible. Um, I'm going to fish and um, farm rice for the two food types. Uh, the third I'll just import from uh, Shanghai. I know we can't import a food type from Shanghai, we can only import hemp, so I'll have to set up a trade partner that sells me some food and that'll help. Uh, I've got everything planned out. Uh, let's see, we need 224 workers, that's not helpful. Uh, so I'll let all this stabilise and I'll come back in once we've got it all ready for going. Oh, the kind of Nan Huey has been discovered. I can never say that correctly, so please forgive me if I'm saying it wrong. Uh, greetings to Mr. Duke. Uh, explorers have returned from abroad to report they have discovered a place called the Kingdom of Nan Yue, similar to the Xiongnu Empire really. Um, they're going to send a request for silk and they'll pre get pretty mad at it and invade you if you're not careful. But we're going to divert any ill feelings towards them by probably just um, finding out what they need. And they're not um, talking to us at the moment, we need to wait for them to say they're greeting the world. Uh, two of these will be enough to f fulfil all our food needs, so I'm just going to set Rice to 10, uh, well, that rice to 9, fish to 9, and I'll just import the third food type from somewhere, I don't know where. Let's put this trading post down for Shanghai because we're going to import all the um, hemp we need from them. Of course, our city's still not stable yet, but once it is, we will be ready to go. Oh, the kingdom of Nanyue wants to greet the world now. Old great super city under the leadership of Aduong Vuong, I think that is, I haven't got a clue how that is, I'm pretty sure that's a Vietnamese name. The kingdom of Nanyue has grown into a significant city and is ready to interact with the world. Good. Let's send you a diplomatic request. I'm going to just go ahead and send some diplomatic requests to at least Xu and Ying because I know that they'll buy lacquerware and I know that both of them sell me food. At least salt, if I have to import the salt. Um, good placement of rocks or things like the jade carvers. The only problem is, where the hell am I going to get all these uh, lacquer farms in? I think clearing out a lot of these trees is going to be necessary, so... Let's just clear a big, big space right here. This is actually prime um, farming area, so let's just destroy a lot of these trees just to get them out of the way. Um, in terms of kilns, I'll probably just kind of stuff them over here or something, I don't know. I don't need, like, loads, but we'll see. Um, there goes the emissaries, which is good. Now, I do know that I believe um, they might use spies, so I'm not going to be too happy if they do. And um, what I'm going to do is... Oh, we've got some bad feng shui just in there. That's good for something that needs that good, uh, that good feng shui. And um, does that tax collector have good feng shui? Um, there, let's just check. It uh, does, so I'm going to put the tax collector there. Again, making sure that housing is always in the best feng shui area so ensures that the maximum number of houses are being placed. We'll just place a load of these down. Those are there, and they all fit just nicely. And we're running out of cash rather fast here, I know. I think we only started like, with something like 16,000 strings of cash. I think. Meanwhile, this logging shed is kind of going to produce it enough. Trade agreements rejected for shoot. They sell me rice that's utterly useless. They buy carved jade, which is, I suppose, useful. I'll have to wait to see if Ying comes back. I discovered a feature of uh, Figgy. As you'll see, uh, I can't really click on the, the things very well. I discovered a feature, if I hold control, I'll be able to click on them much clearer. Which is actually quite useful in my opinion when this, the thing's over uh, the city markers like that. So I'll wait for the trade agreements to come back and I'll come back in once this city is somewhat stable with the housing. Um, so the trade agreement with Nairi and Ying were rejected but when I looked at both of them, um, no, none of these cities here are selling me food which is altogether not that helpful. Uh, the Kingdom of Hui is currently um, apathetic, but I know that they'll invade if I'm not careful. I went ahead and sent a diplomatic request off to Wu, and I might as well just go ahead and send a diplomatic request to everyone else, just to see if someone will sell me a food type, because if I have to hunt for the third food type, that's not helpful. Um, I've started placing out these trees for lacquerware, uh, well, the lacquer refinery, sorry. Uh, so we can get that industry going, obviously. Um, let's put down some more 
logging sheds. Where the hell are these gonna go? They'll have to just go along the top line here, I think. Let's see. One, two, three. If I just delete that one, that'll be a good space in there. That's four of them. Let's put down a bunch of lacquerware makers. One, two, three, four. That's good, that'll be six in there. Uh, eight, sorry, I'm talking about, sorry. Um, in terms of income, nothing's really coming in yet. Just gotta wait for the the harvest to come in, obviously. And I've got to wait for the fishing keys to work. And they're not working because the fishing rice industry has been turned off, which was a bad idea by me. Right, so we'll let these um, grow. That'll get this first food type into the city, which we desperately need. Because I keep getting warnings about how the city doesn't have enough food. Um, how many people can enter the city? We've got 10 more people, which is not helpful, so... Um, I might have to start hunting a bit soon, uh, which is not going to be altogether perfect. I think these will have bad feng shui near the trees. Yes, they have pretty bad feng shui around here. Let's just check if that's all bad feng shui. Let me just destroy a line of trees just to see if that'll improve matters. Yeah, that's still bad feng shui. Hang on. I'm really not bothered about the number of trees I'm destroying. I mean, it really isn't a big deal this time around because this map is littered in them. So, destroying the trees isn't such a big deal. And, oh, trade with Ang Yi has opened up. Let's see. So, uh, Wu sells me fish, uh, which I don't need because I already uh, make that. They sell me jade, so I need to get the trade routes with Nan Yue and Wu opened up if I want jade. Um, Huang Shan sells me cabbage, which is useful. Um, and he sells me millet, which is actually perfect. That's it. And salt, that's actually perfect. And Lindsay hasn't got back to me yet. So, trade with Anne is opened up. That gives me salt, which is perfect. And they buy lacquer. So, and also rice. So, I can set this up as a connected block. And just have the whole city connected. Um, like so. And just have all the lacquer being sold off and having it going into all that kind of stuff. That would be useful. Um, so I'm just going to wait for the harvest to come in, let the food kind of stabilise in the city. And then I think we'll be perfect and ready to go. Um, let's just um, <coughs> finish these statue placements where possible to not get bad feng shui like that. Let's just destroy that tree or two there. Oh, bad feng shui, not helpful. I've got to say bad feng shui again. Let's just kind of destroy like the trees, a few more. I'm not bothered about the trees as I've said. It's, it's a perfect, um, large amount of trees. One of them look like as if they were a spy, but they're not. Which is lucky. Uh, the fish is coming in, which is good. That'll provide the... Oh, god damn it. Right, just destroy more trees. I'm just going to keep destroying the trees until I get perfect harmony in the city. And there's something bad feng shui. Why does it say harmonious balance? Is something got bad feng shui in this city? Um, oh, there it is. I see it down there. Oh, an emissary for Xiang Yang wants to give me loads of weapons. How interesting. And there's the bad feng shui um, build in there. That's perfect. Now, with the 14 weapons, which have just gone rather annoyingly into that storage yard, that's perfect. I can just commission a fort and kind of um, staff it, uh, just to make it go well. Uh, I'm going to put lacquerware in there, obviously. Where's the good feng shui for this stupid fort? I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be near rocks and it'll be good feng shui. For some reason, it's not happening this time around, so... Um, Oh, come on, give me good feng shui for this. Um, that's sort of a good area. Um, I think we'll roll with just there, just to... I mean, I don't need elite housing, so I'm only going to go with one fort. And Lindsay rejected that trade agreement. They sell me bean curd. Okay, that's perfect. Um, I'm going to import l little bits of salt from An Yi and sell them lacquer. I might start importing millet maybe later. But for now, the salt is the most important thing. Uh, so if I just put the training post there, that's perfect. If I just um, go to that roadblock and that'll be perfect. Um, if I need to, I mean, there's a nice big straight line coast here. That's good placement for um, 
uh, water training posts, but if I remember correctly, they need access to trees, and I've just destroyed loads of them, which is not helpful. Um, that might kind of fuck up things. I mean, if that can go in maybe there, that might actually be helpful. But we'll put all these weapons into that um, single um, fort. I get that staffed, obviously. The houses are revolving, which is perfect. Let's just start importing hemp since we're going to need it. Um, workers are coming in. The food is kind of getting into the system. The harvest is about to come in, obviously, for rice paddies, which helps. Um, let's put the agriculture up to high. I'll come back in once this is about, um, all stable and such and the harvest has come in. Uh, so I just got a notice here that Shanghai buys more carved jade. Greetings, Super Sajuk. I should. Uh, bleh. Chin Shi Huang Di of Sha, uh, Shanghai. I'm willing to buy more jade carvings from your city. And I've just started up a little industry here for ceramics making. Uh, because I want to divert any ill feelings I'm going to get from this Kingdom of Nan Hui uh, when I reject their um, thing of a bomb. I'm going to have all the ceramics kind of going around the outer edge with the clay pits on this side. I don't think this is altogether all necessary, but I just want to keep the city um, stable. Um, 48 more people could come in. Once the hemp um, is um, thingied, the harvest is about to come in, so I think this is all about ready. Um, we're we'll hardly making any casks of lacquer. I'm gonna have a farm here and possibly some extra farms here. This is a space, and I don't know whether uh, I'll be able to. In fact, I might not even need the wool trade route. I mean, I could just sell them lacquer away and import jade from them, but I don't really see the point when I can import jade from the Kingdom of Nanhui. But I think I want to keep the Kingdom of Nanhui calm and peaceful, and I just want to try and get this wool trade route open because they can buy my lacquerware. I'm going to kind of have it just going like this, if you know what I mean. Um, so, the rice is coming in. The fish is not altogether all that stable, but it's stable enough. And we've got a trading post here for Anyi, where they're not importing any salt. Let's import four canisters of salt, and that'll stabilise our food supply. So, plenty of rice coming in. And I haven't checked our gods, they're feeling a bit neglected. I'm not going to give them weapons, but I can give them things like wood and all that. Bunches of hemp will actually work. Uh, let's just give them two bales of hemp each. That did absolutely nothing. Okay, fine. Plenty of rice coming in. That's good. Look at all that rice. It's perfect, isn't it? Let's, oh, we can't import any more hemp. I don't want to give gifts of hemp, obviously, then. Should have learnt that from before. Oh, an empty ship of Shanghai wants to give me seven tons of bean curd. How nice. Let's just accept that. All of it. Let's just accept... Um, Four of that, eight of that, and eight of that. Okay, that's fine. Then pour a bit of salt. This is all stabilising, which is perfect. And the ceramics will come in. That's good. The tubs of bean curd will come in just now, which is good. I'll just stop accepting that. So we've got our houses up to the spacious door. We just need them to get appetising food. Which is there, which is perfect. If that's for this one, two, three... There's three food types plus salt to boost stuff, which helps. Now let's give them um, eight sacks of rice, because we've got far too much of it. I mean, look at that, we still have an army of rice people in the city, which is altogether not perfect, but never mind. Uh, plenty of wood stockpiling in this uh, thing here. I don't really know where to put the wood, though, because I don't want to have a another thingy. Um, I might have to put another little bit up here, clearing some trees to get the jade carvers in um, place, so that I can do that. Um, let's just... <coughs> pardon me. Uh, how many more workers could come into the city? F 500 people, that's perfect. This housing will stabilise and our things are holding, which I don't want. Running out of cash here, I need to get a trade route open with someone fairly soon. Um, we've got some lacquerware being made, which is perfect. Um, we've only managed to produce nine la casks of lacquer, which is not helpful. Um, we still can't meet the other goal of producing jade carvings just yet. If I want, I'll try get uh, Ziwamu into the city and just um, use her to bless jade carver studios, which is absolutely cheating in every sense of the word. Uh, let's just destroy some trees around this, uh, just because I want to use this as a good place for making jade and all that. So I'll kind of have that going down like this kind of going around the outer edge by two tiles like so. There we go. 
and a good place just there to put things like wood and all that and I need to destroy just a couple of lines of trees and that'll help. Oh, come on, more trees need to be removed. Um, oh no. Let's destroy that. Ah, there we go, I can put the tree, uh, the trade port, uh, the thingy in there. Um, so that's kind of a good place to put like jade carvers and all that such. Um, I need to kind of boost my lacquer refinery industry because that's not going very well either. Taxation is kind of keeping us afloat but not very well because of course we're not exporting anything which is not helpful. I need to get the trade with Wu opened up so I can start um, <coughs> making carved jade. Uh, I don't think I'll stockpile wood in a storage yard. Uh, if I have to, I'll just kind of place one down and just kind of ruin the, bar, the part of the perfect harmony that I've got. Oh, the kid down now here wants silk. I'm not even going to bother uh, with that request. That is just a stupid request, in my opinion, because I can't grow silk. What are you asking that for? I'm going to set that to 16 carved jade and 16 wood instead, just to kind of make it look a bit better. I'm going to kind of make that go this way instead. I'm going to kind of just fix that a bit, like so. Um, let's just put down uh, that just there. I don't want to kind of get them all round the outer edge because I'm pretty sure the jade carvers will be bad. Oh, no, no, actually not too bad for me in that area, so that's not actually not too bad. Um, really starting to run out of cash here and I've got some ceramics being made. I'll wait until the ceramics are fully stopped out before I get them to the, the house because I need to get them to Nahue to stop them getting pissed off at me because I'm not sending them any uh, gifts of silk. Um, so I'll come back in once we've got the trade with Wu opened up, making money and all that. So our house is now evolved which is good, so I'll reach us to these other goals fairly easily. Um, I'm kind of just waiting for uh, Wu to come back to me from there. Um, uh, gift that I sent them, they haven't responded yet. I put down another lacquer refinery just to kind of try and reach that goal as well. Um, once we've got this um, Jade Carver Studio set up, as in having Jade, then we'll win the mission without any doubt. I just need to get this trade route open with uh, Wu, and the kind of Nanhui is kind of pissed off because I didn't uh, send them off their silk um, straight away. Uh, plenty of ceramics, I could just give them a ton of ceramics if I really need to, which I very much doubt, but let's just destroy that road because they're not taking that route. And I'll just kind of go down this way, I mean, because that's hardly a much distance, so I'm not too bothered. Uh, I've kind of got this road connected up across here, so the whole city is connected pretty much, there's no disconnected communities, so I'm pleased, I think that's a good result because the whole place is connected. Uh, meanwhile, we're just kind of just stockpiling in this warehouse. Um, just because I'm giving it to the gods because I really need some way of making uh, them happy. Uh, so I've met the thousand people there, we've got 1325 people qualifying for that goal, that's perfect. More people coming into the city, which means I could just kind of boost lacquer production. Um, let's just see, one, two, three, and um, one, two, three, there we go. Five farms I think is a bit ridiculous but never mind. Let's just kind of fill this up with lacquer as best as possible. There we go. Five lacquer farms, I think, is a bit stupid, but never mind. You need to get people in employment in this particular one because there's hardly any reason to build elite housing or make a massive city. We're almost in debt because we're not making any money at all from this. Uh, now you're still upset, but I'm going to send them off a large gift of ceramics when I get more ceramics in stock. I need some way of um, killing off um, the appliance problems. Oh, Shanghai needs some rice. There you go, take it. There's some more of that. I'm just kind of um, trying to kill off some of the employment problems. Um, the fact that I can't get people in work doesn't help much either. Just need to make more ceramics so I can give it all off to the Kingdom of Nagui to keep them from getting too mad at us. And we really just have to wait for Wu to accept her trade agreement and we're just about to reach the 1800 population goal anyway so it's really a case of that oh the price of carved jade has gone up which is perfect who's responded they are oh you're gonna be kidding me they're only um apathetic oops I'm gonna have to try and get um 
that trading post open again. Let's hit another gift of lacquerware vessels. And I'll come back when that trade route is now open. Uh, so I put out some more fishy wars to try and get some people out of, um, uh, to get people in work because um, we are suffering. I mean, I've got this at low and we've still got 10% unemployment. I'm having real trouble getting people in work, which is not helpful. I put out a Daewoo's temple simply to try and get Ziwa Moo in the city because I'm getting. Um, I really want to get through this as quickly as possible because this mission is so boring otherwise. And I'm kind of just spamming out lacquer refineries at this point because I don't have anywhere else to put the workers. So if I just kind of um, drag this road down. Um, is there really a point in doing that? No, I'll just do that. Um, let's see, so let's kind of put that in. Uh, well, look from there. One, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, we'll go back to my trade agreement and um, uh, to my gift in there agreeable, which is actually pretty high when you think about it. Uh, so just kind of spamming out lacquer refineries to try and um, obviously get people out of work. Uh, no, in work, sorry. Not out of work. Sounds a bit wrong. Um, and to just simply try and get rid of some of the really high unemployment figures. Uh, I'm kind of just going to spam out everything possible to try and stop the the thing becoming a problem. But if I never logging shed down, I'm pretty sure would have. Um, okay, the Kingdom of Nanjue is happy for that gift, uh, which did nothing. And we're currently in a bit of debt. Once uh, uh, Wu opens up for trade, then I think we'll be happier. I had to move this up um, one tile just so I could get him to go across this bit, which is kind of pointless, but never mind. I'll send the Kingdom of Nanjue another um, uh, large gift of ceramics shortly once I get more in stock. Uh, so we've got the Daewoo's Temple active, everyone else is happy. I'm just going to give off loads of wood to Ziwa Mu, she's happy. And I'll just keep giving her wood until she like, caves. Um, I'm pretty sure we met that Jade car, uh, not that other thing, the other one. Oh, uh, Zhang Yang wants to give me wheat and the trade route was opened up. Hang on a second, let's accept that gift of wheat. How much was it again? Eight bushels of wheat, how nice. Um, they're open, they're a water trade route as I suspected. Uh, can I place this anywhere along here? Oh, I could just place it along here. Oh, that's perfect. I could just kind of stick that on the end, just like so. And I can just have the road go around that bit. And now I can sell loads of lacquerware and make some money. And now I've got Jade and imports, which I'm not going to start straight away because um, I don't have money at the moment. I need to make some money first of a bunch of uh, lacquerware. So I'll let this kind of get us out of debt. Um, obviously that's going to help. Uh, and I'm going to set off more um, ceramics to the Kingdom Nanyu to stop them invading me because our fort isn't in full um, cover, uh, coverage so I don't want them killing me basically. Um, so I'll come back in when we're closer to the, the goals really. Um, the trade jug from um, thingy stop coming here. Here it is. Um, I've put this um, like this. Um, that's to make sure that the lacquerware guys go straight down there. Uh, but this guy does pass close enough so that that's still got coverage. So let's make some money. Because, I mean, look at that. That's plenty of money. And all we have to do now is get some jade carvings. That's actually not difficult at all. So I'll just import 12 jade make it and be done with this mission. I'll come back in when we're near that jade carving goal and just to give you an idea we've made 38 casks of lacquer, we've made more than double with all these farms just to try and keep people out of work because why not. So I'll come in closer when we are about to complete the mission. Uh, so I managed to get Ziwa Mu in the city finally. Um, I also got a trade route with Ying opened up, so I'm now selling like tons of lacquerware anyway. Um, but I haven't met this goal for the other thing yet. I'm going to just take a save just in case I have met it by a fluke, which I very much doubt. I'm just kind of going around blessing the Jade Kyra students to, to fill them all up with Jade, just because this is the cheats way of doing it and it means I don't have to waste money. There you go. Ah, uh, there you go. Okay, now I don't even need to import any jades, because they've got plenty, and if I, if I could just keep her around, then that means that that'll be perfect. Um, we are making so much lacquerware, it's ridiculous. I can't even sell it all yet. Uh, I'm going to put this up to 24, because we're making so much of it. I mean, I can't even sell it all off to 
uh, woo at all. Um, so I'm going to just take one more save in case we've met it, which I very much doubt. And I'll start selling it off to uh, Zhang Yang just because, why not? Make it a bit of a profit now, so I'll keep ZYMU in the city, bless these stupid things uh, to keep them in the city, and then we'll complete the mission. Uh, but we'll just have to see if we completed it first. Have we? Or is it just a false... A false thing that we've not met it? Nope, we've not met it. We'll just send that rice off. How much did we make? Nine! Oh, damn it! Well, this is going to be easy enough. I can just sell off all the carved jays I make to Zhang Yang and that'll be it. So I'll come in at the end of this uh, year and we'll be ready to complete the mission and head back to uh, China properly. Now I'm sort of hoping that I've managed to make the 12 Jade Carmen's because I've sold like all of it off. <laughs> I mean so much of it was made that I kind of just sold the lot to Zhang Yang and I hope to god that I've actually been able to make enough before Carved Jade Studios. I've just imported a little bit of Jade from Wu just in case and Zhang Yang loves us that means it must be philanthropic. Which is kind of a given and um, I'm just going to take a save and we could be done with this pointless mission because it's so ridiculously easy. Well, we've got some jade. And obviously if we're mid enough, we'll complete the mission shortly. I hope. Easy mission. Money's not an issue. You will go into debt for a bit, but then you can clear it easily with selling lacquerware. I mean, this story judge is filled with lacquerware. I can't even get rid of it because they've used it on their trade quota. They need so much of it. So let's see. Have we won? Yes, we have. We got the twelve exact. The two borders southward into the forest of Annan has been successful. It is a job you can be proud of, noble administrator. However, barbarian horsemen again threaten our northern commanders. The emperor has need of your superior organizational talents near a place called Badaling. Yes, he does. So in the next mission, we're going to head to this place called Badaling and build a section of the Great Wall, which is actually the only mission goal. Um, have a look at that, we've got exactly 12, which is perfect. Uh, so, thanks for watching, and I'll see you by the link. Bye now.